no doubt. So what happens to these names as the economy actually reopens? Let's welcome in Melissa Armo, founder, owner of the stock Swoosh. Nice to see you, Melissa. So you're looking at some of these names. I mean, first, what's the outlook for the work from home names? Because we saw Zoom down, for example, right? Now what to the work from home group? Well, everything was down, obviously, with the market in the last two days. But the bounce back today that the market made really made everything bounce back. What I like about Zoom is that the earnings are out on Monday. So after the bell on March 1st, Zoom has earnings. Let's just say that they blow it out in the earnings over 500, for example. That would be a great, great buy point for Zoom. So Zoom doesn't have to make new highs on the earnings. If it gets up to 500, it's headed to new highs. If it collapses, I'd be surprised. But of course, anything could happen because many, many places are still shut down. Not everywhere is totally reopened. Here in New York, we're still shut down. And Zoom is extremely popular. In fact, I've started using it for my business to connect with clients. Uh, and again, it's almost a year into the pandemic. People are still working from home. So I don't think Zoom is going anywhere anytime soon. Hmm. Okay, so that's a good one. So what about some of the other work from home names? I mean, which ones do you think will continue to strive and do well in a post pandemic world? Well, Peloton is one that I've liked a lot because that had the biggest move. That was at $10. It's hard to believe. And it ran on the way up and made new highs around 170. That stock specifically was such a great investment. If you happen to buy it or believe in it way before way before the pandemic, people are exercising now from home. And one of the reasons is they don't want to wear a mask to the gym. Some of these gyms are still requiring people to wear masks. Personally, I'm not going to the gym wearing a mask. I feel like you can't breathe. In fact, I've thought about buying a, a Peloton if I had more room in my apartment. So I think Peloton is going to continue to be popular. Those earnings already happened for this year for the first quarter. We have to wait until May to see how that reports. Again, I don't think Peloton is going anywhere anytime soon. And also, remember, people are starting to think a lot more because of COVID, which is a positive. The only positive from COVID is people are thinking more about their health, which is exercise, eating right, taking care of themselves. And again, that's why Peloton is good too. While it does tend to be expensive to buy one of those bikes, I think if you use it, it's well worthwhile. When you look at some of the costs of, of going to a gym, particularly here in New York, you could turn, spend three, $4,000 a year just on a good gym membership and, and a Peloton will cost that and then you have it for the rest of your life. Yeah, and the thing is about the Peloton, too, is they're making new ones, they're making different price points, they're trying to boost up the shipping to get them out faster because they had some shipping delays and things like that. And people who have Peloton seem to be very, the customer satisfaction rate seems to be very good. People are very into their and addicted to their Pelotons and all that. So that's a good trend overall, it seems. Um, that being said, the work from home trend, there's an ETF, for example, which includes incorporates not just Peloton and Zoom, but many of the other names. Do you think something like that is a good play even now? Because we're not quite out of the pandemic yet. We're definitely not out of the pandemic. I don't know when we'll be out of it. God help us. I don't think it's going to be 2021. But for an ETFs, if you like to buy ETFs, I really think the best thing to always look at is the overall S&P, which was, would be the SPY ETF, okay? I think the problem with the QQQs is that Apple is too overweighted in that. And I think the problem with the, with the Dow, which is the diamonds, is you only have 30 stocks in it. And the Boeing is really too overweighted in that. So when you have the Boeing drop, you have the diamonds drop. When you have the Apple drops, which has happened in the last couple of days, you have the QQQs drop. What I like about the SPY is that it has the financials. The work from home does not have the WFM. Uh, WFH uh, does not have enough history for me to really, you know, clearly look at it and read the chart and say, this is going to go here. This is going to go there. When you look at mm. something like that, to put your money into it long term, I don't think is as great of an investment as some of these particular companies and these particular stocks, which, again, I think yeah. will be around a long time, no matter what, anyway. So I'm not crazy about it. Well, I'm going to. Yeah. Yeah. 
No, I see what you're saying. I mean, it doesn't quite have the history, doesn't have the, you know, the same cloud as some of the things that have been around for a very long time because we don't have the history to look at the charts and things like that. Um, something that does have a lot of history and it's a name you follow closely over the years, it's Disney. Disney has been hitting new highs. We saw some of the reopening trade, uh, the cruise lines and the airlines and the hotels have been getting a boost of late. I mean, what do you make of those names? Have we missed it? Have we missed the whole reopening trade jump or is there still room, do you think? No, no, no. I don't think we missed it at all. In fact, many of these cruise lines still aren't going out full throttle. So, I, you know, RCL had a good jump the other day in earnings. CCL is still in a downtrend. I'd leave that be. I definitely don't think we've missed the jump. As far as Disney goes, that has many, many other things going on with it, Disney does. Uh, it's not just the theme parks and the reopenings. It's the movies. It's a Disney Plus. The Muppets they just launched. The Muppets series just came out. I think that was Friday. So there's so many other things at Disney. That's what made that rally. Plus, it had good earnings the other week, even though it fell in the earnings. I like that stock up to 200. It's almost there. In fact, it could even get there tomorrow. If, if the market makes brand new all-time highs between now and Friday, Disney will go to 200. Disney will run up and make new highs again with the market. And I think there's a strong possibility with the volatility we've seen in the last 24 to 48 hours. Today's Tuesday. We saw the market sell off Monday, Tuesday. I didn't believe in it. I couldn't get behind it. I couldn't short this market. I said, this is crazy. This market is so strong. It gets bought every time you turn around. I won't be yeah, surprised if yeah. we made new highs tomorrow. I seriously wouldn't. I mean, this is how this market has been. The banks made new highs today. You had JP and Morgan Chase make right. new highs today. And the market was down. And you say, how is it happening? Well, right. it's happening, you know? So you're more of a buy the dip person than you are a believer that the market crashes or anything like that. That's what it seems, at least. The market um, well, I'll give you 10 seconds, 10 seconds, because I got to go. Well, I would say the only way where market's going to have a big sell up or something is if we close down again. Say they do another 15 days, 30 days shutdown in the whole country. That that would create a massive, massive problem. I don't I don't. Right. Well, absolutely. Melissa, happens, thank but, you. Thanks. Melissa Armo founder, owner, the Stock Swoosh. Thank you, Melissa.